shadow work video today and being called to just press record as I'm mentally processing some things. Um, and so here I go. Red candle, happy face in my hand. Rose quartz, passion, love, root chakra, red candle. Okay. So I've been thinking about my, uh, most recently my last leap of faith, um, in about three years now and leaving a, an old lifestyle behind and starting a new one, actually writing a book about it. Um, and it's important that I write this book about it because I'm realizing in reviewing the sleep of faith, like what I did and reasons for it and all the lessons I've learned along the way in the last three years. Um, I just realized that my perspective is important. Like, it's going to be important to a lot of people. Not only to myself, but to a lot of people. And I'm learning that as I talk about my past, even with the people who would, who I was involved with at that time, their recollection and my recollection is completely different. Um, different perspectives, right? Even in, in relate, you know, where we're, we're in love and, you know, like where you think you're on the same page, you could like when you really open up those lines of communication and you really put down the walls and you're authentic and you start speaking about, um, your relationship and, you know, where you were at then and where you're at now, you know, like that's what we all need to do within all of our relationships. I'm not just talking about romantic ones either. Like, yeah. Um, Listen to others' perspectives. Listen, you know. But your perspective is important too. And it's a big part of um, one of my shadows is like um, I was programmed like you are to be seen and not heard. Okay. I am... That one was tough for me. Um, I, I just became this like peacemaker. You know, I didn't want anybody to fight. Always trying to, you know, make things right so people didn't get in trouble. Controlling things behind the scenes, the peacemaker. Um, and, but also like this whole being seen, not heard thing. Like I carried that into my relationship. Just to keep the peace, just don't say anything. Even though your intuition is yelling and screaming in your fucking ear right now. Actually, my gut is where my intuition screams at me. My head is my ego. So, um, my perspective is very important to do these kinds of videos to open up to you all, okay? To even speak my truth in relationships where I've just felt like I'm on eggshells or I feel like I'm not seen or heard, you know, like it's important for me now to at least share my perspective. Makes me feel good. Uh, my legacy is that of love. Love after loss. Many times. Um, I have huge stories to tell about leaps of faith that I've taken in my life. And I'm writing a story about it very slowly. Because... Um, I like to do it once and not twice. Like, pardon me.
part of perfectionism in me, okay? But it's about productivity for me. Like, like just get it right the first time. You know, like, so that tends to give me a lot of writer's block as well, okay? But now I'm figuring that I'm, as I'm, I dive deeper into that, I figure I'm writing um, as I learn, as I come to the epiphany. You know, like I wrote the intro to my story because, I don't know, it's almost like I had visions of already doing it. It felt like it was channeled the beginning of it. How I wanted the opening scene to reflect. It kind of plays like out in a movie and then I write it, if that makes sense. The story is called The Trip Ticket. It's a trip. This lack, this fucking last leap of faith was a motherfucking trip. It is the first time I've ever tripped in my life, too. It continues to be a trip. Full of surprises. Um, that I create is where I'm at. Okay? Because, I mean, I had lived a life of a mundane boredom routine for 25 years, in my opinion, you know, my gypsy roots were screaming to travel, to move, to experience life, the land, the people, the communities, spirit, God through all of these things. Like, and, and didn't you, it, I wasn't getting it in, in the, where I was at. I feel drawn to land. That's my spirit. Sounds weird. Does it sound weird? It is weird. It's weird. Like, um, like I'm here. I had a dream this morning that where I brought back information, um, that I was talking to my spirit guides and I asked them why in the hill did you put me in the swamp again? I don't understand because when I lived in the West on the West coast in Oregon, I called my backyard, the swamp. Okay. The rain, the gray, the, okay. I'm like, why y'all put me back in the swamp again? I feel like I'm stuck in the swamp again, you know? And what do I got to learn from this land? Because honestly, y'all, I'm ready to leave this fucking land, this Louisiana. Like, sorry. I just don't feel fitting in here. Okay. I'm an, I really love the ocean. I really love the forest and the mountains. Um, my soul is calling me to tropicalness or dry heat, not humid and mm, sweaty ball sack. Okay. I love me the words that fly out my mouth. I can't help it. My grandmas were the same way. I think they even wore sweatshirts that says that. You know, like, Lord help me for the words, you know, cover my mouth and these words that slip out. You guys, they're supposed to slip out. Oh, I need to drink after that. Okay. Um, I feel drawn to land. So, like, I, you know, this dream I had, they're telling me why I'm in the swamp. Learn a different sort of kind of character that I am. Okay. It was the safest place for me to do the shadow work I needed to do, to create beautiful collections that I've created over the last several years. Um, I have to learn what it is to be almost adamant, persistent, stubborn. Think of the people in this land. It don't fucking matter what happens with weather. They're fucking, I'm, that's what I want to do. I'm going to stay. I'm going to rebuild. I'm going to, you know, like they're just fucking tough. And I, they've got their fam fams you know they're like tightly knit and to weave into that is it takes like an act of god the grace of god it's the way i feel um a lot of people who come here i because i listen okay 
a lot of people who come to this part of the land feel stuck, feel like they can't leave, feel like once they're here, man, once you win, you, I don't know if they say that in Baton Rouge. I don't know if they say that in New Orleans. I just know they say it here in Lafayette. A lot. Oh, my God, I can get stuck in this. It's too much city. It's too much. I've, I've also been able to witness, a, I mean, I've never lived in the South. That noise, the men who I have witnessed, I'm just, I, I've been surrounded by a lot of men while I've been down here, healing my masculinity, by the way. Um, they don't ever stop and relax. Or be quiet. It's just go, go. Like, it's a beautiful spring day, and the noise will continue in the neighborhood. The mowers, the blowers, the construction. The de it's just nonstop. And I just want all them men to just take a fucking load off and put your goddamn feet up and relax. Do you have a Karen in your ear that's like, you got to go do this and do that and do that? Just be... You know, and maybe I'm here to show other people a different way of being. But I've, like, secluded myself. Like, isolated myself. Like, yeah. Not really found a tribe here. And so I know that someday, you know, soon, my, I'll be called to a different land. You know? And I know it. It just happens. And everything will be provided. And it will all work out. And my art can go with me. That's, you know, my readings can go with me. My work can go with me, you know, and I'm safe to do so that actually all along the universe has been guiding me and supporting me and carrying me even in ooh, such traumatic things that have happened um, with my last leap of faith. Many, it's a lot, it's easy, it's easier said than done. It's. I get pissed off here in some of these light workers. It's, it's, you know, just do it today. Take that leap of faith. You know, like it fucking, it's not always well, rainbows on the other side of that leap. I'll be straight up with you. You know, I had fantasized it quite a bit. And this next leap of faith that I'm taking is about trusting my own intuition and following my own happiness to my pot of gold and knowing that I have to raise my vibration to attract what I really am dreaming of. Okay. Knowing it, like not taking that leap of faith too soon, because seriously, I forced my last leap. Okay. I saw the out and I took it. And that led me down another path of things that I needed to learn. Girl, let me open up your eyes, right? Let's take off the rose-colored gl glasses for a minute. This is what it's like in the world. I've was, I was been sheltered in my life. Sheltered, living in tiny little town, small town, okay? I've been, with this, living in the Deep South, I see the racism in this country. I'm sorry, I just do. I just see it. I see the segregation. I see that. I was completely unaware of that. Living in Oregon. Hmm? I see how the I don't know, I've never seen so much drinking in my life than here in this area. Which I fell off that fucking wagon man coming here. Oh yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Because I didn't drink for a while. And then, yeah, I was taking a break, you know. It might have been less than a year, but, yeah. Then come in here, hang out with the people that are drinking and whatnot, and you just kind of fall right back into it. You know, the construction's happening in my head today, and so the sound effects are loud in the background. But I just wanted to ramble for a little bit. I feel better already. I hope somebody got something out of this today. This is me being real with you, my mask off. Yeah, there's a lot I got to talk about. Um, I put on that happy face for you all and share my love and light. But, you know, behind these eyes, there's there's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of you know, heart healing that's happening. And, you know, I have faith and trust in this process of, of, heal, of healing. And shadow work's necessary. 
Okay. And that's why I'm going to keep talking about it. Right. I love you. <laughs> Take good care of you today. Um, and I'll be back soon. Mwah.